So recently I met one of the developers of a Vision Pro app called Passage, Matthew Waller, and he showed me a cool trick that I'd like to show you about how to generate space scenes for immersive environments in Vision OS. So first of all, Passage is a really great app for Apple Vision Pro. It allows you to be in any immersive environment you want by using AI image generation to create an immersive view. You can even have a cutout of your desk or keyboard so you can use other apps, stream music and movies, or mirror your MacBook while you work in any immersive environment you can imagine. It's already available on the App Store and I'll post a link below. So one of the main issues you'll run into if you're gonna have a space immersive environment in your app is that skybox images are kind of limited by their fidelity and resolution. So even a 4K or 7K image might not look that great in the Vision Pro. Matthew's solution was that actually you can use a particle emitter to achieve the effect of having stars in your app. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, you wanna create a new Vision OS project and you just wanna have an immersive view. So remember to have in your preferred default scene session role, immersive space application session role. Now I'm going to open Reality Composer Pro, navigate to your packages slash reality kit content and open the Reality Composer Pro package. In my immersive scene, I'm going to put file new scene and I'm going to call it Starfield. Then in Starfield, I'm going to press this plus button and add a particle emitter. I've already got one here, so let me just show you the settings that I have for this particle emitter. You can press play to show your particle emitter and also that helps while you adjust the settings to see what's going to happen in your particle emitter, what it's going to look like. The particle what we're going to be using is magic. So you can see it's this sparkly thing and we want to make these look like stars. The first thing you want to do is to make the scale extremely large because we want this to take up the entire the entire perspective of the user. And at the same time, we want to make our particle size much larger. So this is just mainly guesswork. I use the scale of 500 here and I made the size 100. I also want a higher burst count. I want more stars in here. So I'm going to put 400 and I want these particles to not have a gradual fade in. I want them to be constant. So you can see how this changes the behavior of the particles. It's not an exact science, it's just to kind of get the effect that you want. Um, stars can be red shifted or blue shifted or appear white or yellow in the sky. So you can change the color here in the star color and the end color. And I want an emitter shape of a sphere and I want the birth location to be on the surface because we don't want stars inside this imaginary sphere. We want them all on the outside of the user. And you can see the longer I extend the lifespan, the longer these stars exist as well. So I put the lifespan at 100 seconds. Now the stars won't appear and disappear. So the last thing is, um, if I modify the speed and I make it a really big number, you can see how the particles are shooting out. So we don't want that. We want our stars to stay still. So I'm gonna make it zero. Let's restart it. And another thing is that you can see how we have a birth rate of 40 particles per second you can see how it says how many particles are emitted per second and it's not going to stop so it's actually going to get more and more populated and i'm going to address that in a bit in the code so let's go to the code okay so i'm going to go to my immersive view the code is very simple if let emitter try await entity named starfield in reality kick content bundle and then content dot add emitter now i have a task here Let's comment it out and I'll talk about it in a bit, but let's demonstrate that code right now. See what happens. Okay, you can see that the stars are in my immersive view and they're starting to get more and more populated. So if I were in my living room, I would just start to see stars all around me. And maybe the stars seem a little big, a little small. You can always adjust that and they're getting more and more populated because it's adding 40 particles per second. What if we want to pause as the stars are already populated? We, well, we can do that here. 
and this is a trick Matthew Waller showed me. So you just have a task in here and you have the task sleep for seven seconds. It doesn't have to be seven seconds, just for however long it takes to populate your particle system. And then particle component has a option called simulation state and you can set that to dot pause. Let's take a look at that in the documentation. So simulation state controls particle simulation state playing paused or stopped and it defaults to play. So basically you just want to have create a task that waits for a little bit of time and then sets the simulation state to pause. And this is the code right here. Task try wait task dot sleep for seven seconds. If you found the particle component emitter dot components particle emitter component dot self and then particle component dot simulation state equals dot pause emitter dot components dot set particle component. Now let's try that out. All right, cool. Now you can see that my particles, there were some that were moving before and now they're not moving. They're staying in the same spot. They're not adding 40 particles per second. We have a star field. So if you want to create any space scene with stars, this is an effective way of doing that. It's pretty cool. And that does it for my video. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like and subscribe. If you want more content like this, and I also have painting and music content, so check that out as well. If you've been waiting for some of my painting or music content, it's coming soon. Just stay tuned, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.